For some time now, the Lord's really been working in my life through just my life circumstances and given me a deeper compassion for those in abject poverty and those that are seemingly forgotten. So through prayer and seeking the Lord, the Lord has connected us with some friends in a district of Quezon City, Philippines called Payatas. And in Payatas is located a 50-acre dump site in which many, many families, their livelihood depends on this dump site where they recycle all types of materials such as bottles and metals and plastics for an average of, of about a dollar to three dollars a day. They recently closed the dump site for good. It does affect the people, however, there's still enough garbage in the streets for the people that are here to pick through it and to go to different junk shops. Eventually, the junk shops would disappear and the people would disappear. Recently, we met a young lady named Teresa Ramos and she's with Vine Fellowship Network. She was encouraging her church and other places, other people, people at her workplace to send us boxes of relief goods. They sent everything from uh, uh, shoes to uh, hairspray. I, I mean, things that you would take for granted in America uh, these kids are picking out toothbrushes, for instance. Most of the children here have rotten teeth. They don't brush their teeth. Why? Because a toothbrush is an extravagance. Everything here is a blessing to them. These clothes that come here, it's like gold to them. You watch their faces light up as they open the boxes. It's really been truly a blessing. I know one day I'm going to be held accountable for what I did with my life. I'll be held accountable for what I did with my time, my money, uh, my resources. And that's what led me to do what we do today. This box is uh, really a blessing to us. Ayun nga, pagsalamat kami lalo na sa Panginoon at sa mga nagbigay ng mga boxes. At ito ay mahalaga sa amin dahil nakatulong sa pang-araw-araw namin o hindi kaya. Ayun nga, salamat sa mga, sa mga laman ng box. Sana i-bless kayo ng Panginoon. Nagbigay siya ng ano na We've been sending boxes to the Philippines um, in these squatter areas and in the slums uh, that contain just practical items, wants and needs, toys, and um, although it's important that we're fulfilling needs and we're making people happy, the most important, um, the real purpose behind this is just to remind um, those who are receiving these boxes that the Lord loves them, has a plan for their life, and He hasn't forgotten them. I never had any desire to go to Asia or to be any part of Asia. Uh, my brother was a, uh, a big shot running through, uh, through all of Asia uh, selling telecommunication systems, but, but that wasn't for me. But when I was here, I saw the little children playing on the dark garbage trucks and actually working on them, collecting money, begging for money in the streets. And the Holy Spirit told me I was coming back here as a missionary. And the strange part is it didn't affect me at all. I immediately realized that that's what I was going to do. Today, uh, we're having our annual uh, sport fest. It's like uh, just a uh, bonding also. We eat, we play, we enjoy each other. Uh, we love the kids, that's why we're here. It's a blessing that we could uh, share the word to them. They are our future leaders of this ministry and the world. We put them to school because this is the wealth that they could have in the future, especially in Payadas. It's uh, poor, the poorest, one of the poorest area in the Philippines and uh, we thank God for, for this ministry. Our hope in our 20-year plan is to raise them from little children right up to college, which we have two in college now, another two going next year, and a few more going the following year. The system is working. We will have them all have good jobs. In another five years, they'll all be producing. You know, the Bible says that hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. 